Welcome to an uh, episode of The Dish with Nacho. Uh, today we're playing some Rocket League, and I have joining me the one and only Tazzy from Tazzy Kisses Kill on Twitch. How are you doing, Tazzy? Oh, good. The weather's a little chilly out here, which means fall's officially arrived, which is exciting since Halloween is just a Saturday. Yeah, and uh, I know where I am uh, in Canada here. Even though I'm in this more southern part of Canada, the last week or two has been pretty frigid. We usually don't get any of the uh, the white flurries till December. Uh, sometimes maybe in January, and I like those years a lot. <laughs> but uh, I have a feeling that they are right around the corner, unfortunately. Well, I, I shouldn't say unfortunately, because I actually do like the snow. I like the fact that where I live, we get all the seasons. So that's always cool, I guess, until you get crappy roads and you're sl exactly so <laughs> yeah and so we have halloween coming up this weekend um and things are obviously going to be a little bit different this year um yeah. i know like i usually the okay. thing that i usually do is i just usually watch movies and eat and give out candy i don't know if if you do anything different than that but uh, that's usually my typical thing so that's probably going to kind of stay the same yeah so um it like, so last year uh, was, like, probably the first year that I actually, like, dressed up. And I went to a haunted house with the, the boyfriend and, like, gave candy out. It was, like, the first time I've actually given candy out as an adult because I lived in Montana where your nearest neighbor was, like, a mile away. And no one was going to oh, be walking funny. The, a mile for candy. So, yeah. Um, so, but, yeah, it's typically scary movies and... You know, dress up if you feel like it, which I probably will because Halloween is my favorite home. <laughs> yeah, that's For awesome. Sure. Is there any like movie that's like your go-to movie every year? Like, do you have one that you watch every year or one that you like to watch? Um, so I really am a big fan of the the Friday the Thirteenth movies. Nice. Um, which hasn't necessarily been a like a big tradition on like Halloween each year for me to watch because like um, Friday the 13th the movies came to my attention with the actual video game just recently came out where you can play oh as nice Jason. and um uh, my boyfriend would like mention stuff and be like hey you know like this is this jason from this movie and we're like um well here's a fun fact i've never watched the movies and then oh that's kind like, of oh, funny no no you can't you can't go and play this game and not know the movies and so we ended up like just binge watching all of them and they're fantastic movies if no one's like ever seen them yeah they're a little old but they're just they're good go watch them <laughs> yeah and like i know me personally i i typically stay <laughs> not that i stay away from them but um like th those kind of movies where it really f's with your head i kind of get uh a little hesitant in watching them sometimes i do watch them but i'm more of a like nightmare before christmas hocus pocus a Ghostbusters type of uh, Halloween movie goer here. Yeah, um, so it's actually funny that you mentioned something about movies that mess with your head because uh, one horror movie that I love watching, and it doesn't matter, matter what like time of the year it is, is the Alien franchise. I absolutely oh, love the nice. um, movie franchise. Like we, my even my family loves it so much that we even named like two of our cats that we just uh, recently had. Um, uh, we named them Picks and Ripley after the main Nice. Artists. Uh, but yeah, so, like, it was really funny when I was about, like, I want to say it was, like, eight years old. My mom's like, hey, let me introduce you to the entire Alien franchise within, like, one weekend, right? And we, like, of course watched them really late at night. And I actually got so freaked out about the xenomorphs in that movie to the point where I would actually, like, see them. Because oh I'm my so, god, like, no way. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. I, yeah, it was it was really scary and I just oh my god, I don't even know what convinced me to like finally realize that they aren't real, they're not gonna come and get me kind of thing. And oh it was like a pretty bad time in my life. But it's really funny now since uh, you know, you just realize like what your oh. brain can do to you. You know? Yeah, exactly. And that's actually funny that you mentioned that because uh, that's actually the game that I'm going to be- Oh shit! I missed the goal. Damn it. Uh, that's actually the game that I'm going to be streaming on Halloween's Eve, uh, is Alien Isolation. And I am- I wish you luck. I know, I'm kind of nervous, I'm not gonna lie. 
Like, we've played things like, uh, as you know, things like Layers of Fear, Layers of Fear 2, the Resident Evil games. Um, but I feel like this game is going to be a whole new level of, like, piss your pants, basically. <laughs> yeah, um, so with uh, Alien Isolation, I've only played 10 minutes of it. And um, it's actually really funny because um, Aliens, uh, Alien Isolation is uh, more of a, like, that psychological horror game. Because you know that the alien is constantly there waiting for you, watching you kind of thing. Um, and with, like, Alien Colonial Marine, which is, like, the worst game you can ever play. I was going to say, I never played game. that. I've never played that game, but I've heard so many, like, bad things about that game. <laughs> yeah. So, um, because I am such an alien fanatic, um, even, like, the, uh, the radar in the alien games, doesn't matter which one, it will freak me out, and I'll start, like, um, you know, itching and stuff, and, like, panicking, heart racing just because of the radar, but, again, Alien Colonial Marines was, like, the, uh, again, a game where I only played ten minutes of it kind of thing. Well, yeah, I I don't know. Um, I'm kind of on the fence of how that stream is going to go, but I, but I am looking forward to it. Um, I think it should be fun. Yeah, it, it will definitely be fun. Your viewers will have a lot of fun with it. Like, yeah. I was watching my friend play it, and I was just making fun of him because he just hid in a locker, like, 90% of the game. Because he's like, I'm scared. <laughs> Well, see, and that's the thing, like, a lot of people love playing these horror games, and, uh, I mean, I don't mind playing the horror, like, I, I, I shouldn't say that I do enjoy playing them, because my viewers enjoy it, but, <laughs> holy crap, some of the jump scares, and just the, the t intensity of it, and I think it's ramped up, too, when you're playing either with somebody, or with your viewers, or something, because it's just, everything is just more in heightened, I think, because everyone is kind of intentionally watching it. Yeah, um, I completely agree with you. Uh, recently, I've been streaming the first game um, of Dead Space uh, for my viewers. And yes. I, uh, so I played that game when I was 12, um, and uh, it was like uh, so bad. And I just I remember, and it took me 30 minutes to get through like the first 10 minutes of gameplay, and I would just sit there and scream at nothing or cry, and it was bad. And <laughs> um, and so. You know, it's October, and I asked my viewers, like, hey, I have a couple of games available to my, you know, in my library. What would you be interested in watching me play? And, of course, they all chose my childhood trauma, Dead Space. So I was nice. like, okay, you know, I'm, you know, like, at least, you know, 11 years older than I was the first time. I should be able to do this. You know, I've been playing a couple of scary games kind of thing. Um, you know, I should be able to do this. No. No. <laughs> no. Because... When you're alone in a room streaming to the internet, it's a lot different than, you know, just playing a game in your in your room, you know, kind of thing. Because you can always put the game down if you're just playing by yourself. But if you're streaming, you put the game down and everybody exactly. notices. <laughs> and now, and, so go ahead. And uh, so, like that first stream um, I did by myself, I was screaming. I even had to like just turn the game off after a, a oh no minutes because I was just so freaked out. Um, so it, you know it is what it is. And then the second day I played with my mom, which made it actually a little yeah. Bit better, I was gonna but there say was just a lot of <laughs> <laughs> just yeah. So yeah, because I remember watching. Uh, I I wasn't able to catch your original stream, but I I caught a bit of uh, the stream that you were doing with your with your mom. And yeah, you went from one person screaming to now two people screaming. <laughs> and yeah. it, it was entertaining um, though, I will tell you that. Yeah, uh, everybody actually found it a lot more interest or entertaining when I had my mom on there. And it was just because like the first 30 minutes of the game, we would just scream at anything. And then there was a point in time <laughs> where we would just sass each other because we were screaming. Or, and then it just turned into my mom like backseat gaming me and just telling me how to play the game. And it was just, oh my god, it was a lot of fun. And everybody really enjoyed it. And now it's just kind of like, if I'm going to continue to stream Dead Space, do I do it with my mom? <laughs> <laughs> well, because I, everybody just found that so entertaining and I didn't expect right. it, to be honest. 
And I think that's that's the interesting thing too. When you bring someone uh, like our parents, for example, that aren't necessarily gamers, it's interesting watching like their reactions, not just to like a horror game, but just to games in general. So then add in the horror factor, and then there's that much more. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely really entertaining. Um, but with my mom, she always like she was the one that actually introduced me to video games and really and started. Yeah, it got me started on the whole, like, pretty much the crippling addiction I have to video games now. Okay, so but, what what was the game that got you hooked that your mom introduced you to then? So, it was back in the days of the 2003 era, uh, and Halo Combat Evolved freshly nice. came out. Nice. My mom, uh, she went over to my aunt's house and uh, played, like, for hours, like, even stood up, um, like, to, like, 2 in the morning playing... Halo, uh, and she was so addicted to it that she actually had to go out by her own Xbox just to play it. And I remember watching my mom and my dad play um, Halo in the living room. And it's so funny because my dad, he so doesn't even like, he's like, no, video games don't know where they are. But they would just sit there and just play hours and hours of it. And then my mom's like, well, hey, because she really likes playing the co-op, not so much of the single player. So she like pretty much tapped me down, put the control in my hands, and taught me how to play. So that way she could have a gunner on the Warhogs. Or, that is hilarious. You know. Yeah, it, it was. It's so funny to even just sit down and think about it because like my mom, she'll even mention it to this day. Well, I'm the one that got you started on video games. There you go. So now you don't even play them with me, and I'm like, oh my god, mom. <laughs> So basically, uh, she is going to require some Twitch royalties at some point, I think, right? Yep, yeah, I think so. <laughs> that's, that's really awesome, though. Um, my parents are not gamers at all. However, that being said, I remember when I was a young lad, and uh, I think it was the Super Nintendo. We had uh, borrowed it from my cousin. And guess who we caught playing it a couple of times? My mom. Yep. And when yeah, I say yeah, playing, I mean playing. Uh, so that was kind of funny. Yeah, um, yeah, so she bought the Xbox, and then, because, um, back when the Xbox came out, it was more geared for adults. Um, my mom got me the Nintendo 64, and I had Mario Kart, Pokemon Snap, and all those fun games. My mom would play with me. That's uh, awesome. I, I, you know, with, like, the Xbox, you know, I always had that special place in my heart with it because of, you know, Halo and Master right. Chief and, you know, the whole, the whole shebang. And yeah, pretty much, like, I can, like, blame my mom for my crippling addiction to games now. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, and she's actually one of the people that convinced me to even stream on Twitch because, like, I'd talk about it and be like, oh, I should do this, and then... She'd be like, okay, well, if you do it, I'm here to support you. And I'd be like, no, I'm not going to do it. And then, like, since COVID happened this year, um, she was like, well, why don't you do this? You know, right. you have an Xbox. You have a computer. You know, like, do it. And I was like, okay. That's I, awesome. I do it, Mom. Yeah. So, pretty much, yeah. She's, like, the main reason why I really got <laughs> into streaming and all of this jazz. So, it's really nice to, like, bring her into, like, Spooky game streams. Right. And just have that, like, quality moment. And, you know, like, it's really funny because she didn't think that, like, people would like her on the internet. But then she sees, like, the clips that my viewers are making and, you know, all you know what you, you know what? You might end up having some competition. Maybe your mom will throw her hat into the uh, ring. Right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, I know, like, I know people would, like, leave me to go watch her. And I completely don't even blame them. Like, Go, go watch my right. mom. She's fantastic. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, so just quickly, what is like your favorite, favorite Halloween candy? You've got to have a favorite, right? Ooh, ooh, this is a hard one. I know it's not candy corn because candy corn's disgusting. And I agree with that. Throw. Okay, I was going to say, I'm like, everybody can come after me after that comment. But, um, ooh, let's see. Um... I exited out of the game by accident, so that's maybe okay, why you're... Okay, you're good. Okay. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. Oh, man, that's a hard question. 
I know for like the longest time it was like nerds. Like, oh man, I could eat <laughs> nerds for days. Just like open, like rip the top off the box, eat the entire thing. Um, but I do have to say, I still have a very big soft spot for Reese cups. Like, mm, mm, chocolate and peanut butter, the best. Uh, so I always find it funny because I think we've had this conversation before. Um, I feel like you say, I say Reese's peanut butter cups and you say, uh, how do you say it? Reese's. Reese's. I always find that, <laughs> that funny because I, I find all, like, whenever I talk to an American, they pronounce it that way and I pronounce it Reese's. Uh, but Reese's is, like, my favorite Halloween candy. It's my favorite candy in general. Uh, so yeah. I, I would agree with you on that one. Uh, as far as my least favorite... Uh, well, candy corn is close on that list. Oh, I think so mine, <laughs> mine would go to a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> oh, interesting. Like, so yeah. like, that's the thing. I don't hate Tootsie Rolls, but like, oh man, I will, uh, you know, like all time favorite, like hated candy. Uh, Peeps. What? But, I mean, yeah, I hate Peeps too. Oh, Peeps, <laughs> like those, uh, the bunny things? Yeah, the, the marshmallow. Oh man, sugar. like just you just look at them and they look like you're eating like something that's Egg. artificial and plastic. Yeah. <laughs> you're just eating like a one-way trip to like hospital. Yeah, it's uh, like it's like what are they even? Do we even know what they are? <laughs> I think they're marshmallows just covered in sugar. To be honest, um, I just know like like whenever I see them, my mouth just like uh, <laughs> just. I just frown at them whenever I see them, because like I like I don't know why. Because your brain's like, hey, those would be pretty good. You buy them, you try a bite, and you just immediately garbage. <laughs> right. <laughs> like you just buy them for the garbage. Um, yeah, I can't with those. Um, it's just really interesting. Uh, <laughs> but I, like, oh my gosh, I know for the longest time with like candy, I actually went on a binge of just eating warhead candy. Do you know what those are? Uh, are those like the big jawbreaker type things? No. So the warhead, the war, uh, warhead candies are like the super super sour, like hard candies. Okay. Are they? And, do they have like layers to them? Um. Like I mean, so they're really sour, and then they can turn sweet. Okay. Yeah. Because the one that I'm thinking of, I think they're called like gobstoppers or something like that, and yeah, it's like this. So that's oh, a, okay. That's completely, different it's completely different. different. Okay. Yeah, like the gobstoppers are sweet. Um, warheads are like a uh, nightmare. <laughs> a nightmare. <laughs> um, like they will hit your salivary glands and you will die. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. How about those um, those little rocket candies that are like uh, the little? Um... Pop rock. Yeah, I think that's what they're called. They're they, like little like pastel candy candies. No, no, not those. Um, it's a Halloween candy. Maybe it's something that's only popular over here, but they're like little candies. They're called rocket somethings, and they're like little pastel candies, and they're basically just sugar. You just eat them, and they're sugar. Are you? Well, that kind of sounds like, um, oh my god, what is this called? Pixie sticks? You know what? It's the exact same thing as pixie sticks uh, if they were, like, crunched down into a solid, basically. Interesting. Yeah, no, um, I actually have no idea what that is. Okay, I'll send you a picture <laughs> to it after uh, we're done recording because I'm interested because yeah. like it's one of those things too where I think a lot of people that I know they're kind of like some people like it some people hate it um, mm -hmm. But I I don't mind them yeah. They're not my favorite, but I definitely don't mind them either. So How did that not yeah. go in? Uh, I don't know <laughs> I don't know because this game is yeah, and just for the viewers, me and Tazzy by no means are experts at this game, as you can tell yeah, already. Yeah, no, we're extreme <laughs> casuals. But, and that's, like, that's the cool thing about this game, too, though. Like, I've been doing uh, Let's Plays with Rocket League, and it's free to play now, and it's also cross-platform, so really, uh, anyone can like play this game. game. And the last stream I had, I had so many people joining me uh, from different <laughs> platforms and consoles. It was awesome, so... And that's the thing, when, when, when we all kind of suck, <laughs> it makes for a, a good competition, <laughs> so. And it is, because you can just do like custom matches, exhibition matches, and just have fun, and that's exactly what we did, so. Uh, it was a lot of fun, and I'm gonna try to start doing those uh, play with viewer streams more, because I really, really enjoy those ones. Mm -hmm. they're, they're a lot of fun. Even if you get trolls, it's a lot of fun. Nice goal. <laughs> Thanks.
It's our first goal. Look. Woo! Yes. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah, he had them up against the wall. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and you no, you. <laughs> and you play, uh, you've played uh, a lot of Among Us lately, uh, I find. Uh, you've been finding yeah. uh, success with that one? Um, yeah, so when I was streaming it, um, because I haven't actually streamed it in the past two weekends, you know, I just get like random people in. And it was, it's a lot of fun. That's good. Um, especially if you get them into the Discord and then you're able to, you know, hear their voice. And it's just like, it's so interesting, like all the different people you meet. Um, Definitely. Really Last time I streamed it, I had this young girl uh, come in, and she like she instantly simped for one of my friends. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. So like she was like, oh, he could do no wrong, and I'm like, uh oh, and it just became an entire thing, which was really funny. That is pretty um, funny. But recently, Innersloth, which are the people that uh, make Among Us, they actually um, have been having some issues with. Uh, uh, hackers and stuff. Um, so, for like instance, there'll be people that you join with if it's if they're complete randoms. You join with them, and they can get your IP and stuff. Oh, uh, it's really scary. So I'm kind of staying away from that game because like even the developers were like, "Hey, we don't recommend playing your game until November." Oh wow! Just I did to... not hear that. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty scary. Um, so it's really scary, and so like they either suggested that you um play with friends that you know, or you just you know don't play until November until they can get all the stuff fixed. Wow, that's that's yeah, interesting. So, <laughs> but that's we... why I'm, one of the reasons why I went to Dead Space. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, I'm gonna wrap the the stream up here. Uh, is there anything else that you wanted to add before we wrap things up? No. Um, all that I can suggest is that, like, for Halloween, if you're going out doing some chunk or treating type things, have fun, stay safe, wear a mask, please. Um, <laughs> but other than that, you know, have a nice, fun, safe, happy Halloween. And I totally agree. Be safe out there, have fun, but also be reasonable about what's going on in today's day. Um... Yeah, I think it'll just still be a good Halloween. I think it'll be good. Yeah. We just have to make the best we can of it. Um, so yeah. So anyways, yeah. everybody, thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Um, I've got Tazzy's uh, Twitch uh, URL up on the screen right now. Make sure you check them out. They're a wonderful streamer. I definitely recommend them. Um, as far as this little segment that we're doing, The Dish, I'd love to have more people on here, whether you're a streamer, you're a gamer, or, you know, really anything. I just like to have people on here and chat about things that are going on. So if this is something that you're interested in, uh, shoot me a message and let's chat and let's see if we can make something work. But uh, in the meantime, uh, we'll end things there. Uh, Tazzy, you have a wonderful rest of your day and uh, I'm sure we'll be doing some more of these uh, in the near future. Yep. Thank you, Nacho. No problem. You all have a wonderful time and we'll see you next time. Take care.